Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I do want to speak about Claudio Echeverri, who is an Argentinian midfielder. And then we're also going to be talking about a Swedish midfielder named Lucas Bergvall. I don't know if I'm saying that incorrectly or correctly. I'm sorry if I do butcher some names. But yes, these are going to be the two youngsters that we are going to be talking about. Both of them are 17 years old. Barcelona do want these two midfielders. And we are going to be explaining why Xavi Hernandez and why Deco wants these two players. So it is going to be some very exciting stuff because I'm very optimistic about Barcelona's future. So let's talk about the young Argentine first. And it says here, according to Gustavo from ESPN, that Barcelona are willing to pay more than Claudio Echeverri's 25 million euro release clause, around the range of 30 million euros, but in installments. Man City and Chelsea are also following him, but Barcelona have taken a big step forward. Xavi has been following him and looking into every detail about the player. River Plate do want to extend his contract beyond on December 2024 and also increase the release clause but they cannot do anything if the player himself wants to leave and the club also wants to pay the current release clause. So it seems like this player is following the footsteps of Moscardo where they want to leave as soon as possible. They want to go to Europe they want to be signed to a certain European club because they want to take the next step of their career. Yes, their clubs want to extend the contracts but if the player wants to be out of South America, they have the right to do so, especially when their contract is about to end. But the only difference is that Moscardo is not truly committed to only joining FC Barcelona. Claudio Echeverri though does only want to join Barcelona and that is what makes this transfer so exciting is the fact that Claudio is a big fan of the club and that is why he's prioritizing the move to Barcelona which is why it's a huge plus for us because we cannot compete with City and Chelsea financially. And the fact that he's willing to move to a different club right now that also helps Barcelona because if Claudio said I want to stay here for another two years maybe until the age of 19 years old, then we'll see River Plate and the agent come to a conclusion where they can renew the contract and put their release clause even higher than what Barcelona can afford, maybe go to 50, 60, 70 million euros. But since the player himself does not want that and he wants to move as soon as possible, this is why his price tag is cheaper at the moment and it will stay like that. So it's some very good news. Xavi Hernandez earlier even spoke about Claudio during the pre-match press conference for the game against Valencia and this is what Xavi Hernandez had to say about the player and I quote, he is a talent. Beyond the three goals that he scored against Brazil, he's very talented. He is a player who can make a difference on the pitch, but I am not in charge of that. This is something for the scouting area. So this is basically confirming that Xavi Hernandez admires the player and he does want him, just like how Claudio wants Barcelona. Claudio even said to the AFA media last month, he was speaking about what club would he like to play in in the future. And this is what he said in FC Barcelona, besides River Plate, because I am a big fan of Messi and I used to watch him play in Barcelona. Barcelona. So I carry that from a very young age. And so it's crazy to see just how much effect Messi has had on this club because this is not the first time we have heard a player saying, I want to go to Barcelona because I was a big fan of Messi. And because I was a big fan of Messi, I was following Barcelona. It's crazy how this Messi tax is still helping us and might potentially help us for the next 10 years because of how many youngsters between 2002 and 2009 were following Lionel Messi at Barcelona. Messinho from Brazil also said the exact same thing. He said, I want to join Barcelona because I followed Lionel Messi. And so when you combine that type of influence from Messi with the scouting of Deco, you can very much expect a lot of South Americans to join Barcelona in these next two to five years. And so if you really think about it, we have Vitor Roque locked down for sure coming in January. We have now Barcelona taking a big step for Claudio Echeverri. And then eventually Barcelona might be in a position to sign Estevao William, another Brazilian right winger. This is just very South American. And if you guys are wondering what type of tournament did Claudio have in the World Cup under 17 that Xavi Hernandez was talking about. Well, it says here that in seven games, he played 504 minutes. He scored five goals, provided one assist, had an expected goal rate of 2.94 and expected assist rate of 2.32, 16 key passes, four big chances created and 16 out of 27 successful dribbles. So he's a top notch midfielder. Also, if you guys want to know his strengths and his weaknesses, it says here, according to football talent scout, one of his few very strong strengths is his pace, his passing, his vision, his creativity, his technique technique, his ball control, his dribbling, his flair, his agility, and then some things to improve on for him is his physical development, the aerial duels, and he also needs to better his weak foot. His style of play is considered to be as a advanced playmaker, very much a number 10. He has great 1v1 ability, close ball control. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this does resemble Lionel Messi. So you can see where he does get his inspiration from. And he also likes to be fielded in a free role as an attacking midfielder where he is given the creative freedom and space to roam on the pitch. So it's just, it's 
crazy to even think about this, right? Because like the fact that Barcelona might potentially have this young Argentinian with Noah Darvic, right? Another German attacking midfielder. Barcelona are going to be having crazy options in the future. And then you combine that with our set midfielders like Pedri, Gavi, maybe push for the move of Florian Verts, which won't be easy in 2025. Barcelona are on the correct path. So now I do want to move on towards the other player, and that is Lucas Bergvall, who is also 17 years old. And the club that he does play for is named Dur Gardens. I don't know if I'm saying that again incorrectly or, cor or correctly. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, he does play in a Swedish club and Barcelona have contacted the 17 year old and they have also made their first official offer. There is no agreement between the two clubs yet, but there is still good harmony and they are still negotiating. According to Mateo Moreto, he has also claimed that Bergval is very attracted by the prospect of playing for Barcelona and would see Barcelona as his first option. The operation would be for him to join on June 2024, very similar to the operation of Claudio Echeverri. Inter Milan are also very interested and also sent an official offer to the Swedish club and Manchester United have also asked about him too. So he is very much in demand. Again, another player that can play in the central midfield role. He, is, he has also been seen in CDM roles, like in the area that Busquets does play. But I do think that with what he does carry in his skill sets, he is suited in the central midfield role. I don't know if Xavi Hernandez and Deco do see him as a CDM, but we'll see. Because again, every time he does receive the ball, he receives it in very deep areas and he likes to carry the ball forward. Football Talent Scout, which is my source on scouting the player and what his strengths and weaknesses are, they have claimed that his strengths are passing, vision, technique, ball control, football IQ, and teamwork. And one of the things that he is not good at is his composure in front of goal, right? His finishing in the final third. He's also considered to be a little too soft in contact, especially on defensive duels, because he does not have the aggression in him. And the fact that he is so tall, he still lacks aerial dominance and tries to also avoid aerial duels. So maybe this could be something that Barcelona are going to have to work on if they do bring him in. Because look, I remember about two or three weeks ago, it was claimed that Barcelona wanted tall, strong, physical midfielders, right? The midfielders that do resemble Yaya Torre or someone like Bellingham, because that is the future of football is to have high physical, high power, high athletic midfielders. And one of the players that could bring that it is Lucas Bergval, because he's tall, he's strong, he's fast, he knows how to dribble, but he's going to need the physical dominance in order to truly be a great midfielder. And that is something that he could gain at Barcelona through time. So maybe we could see the player get implemented into Barcelona Athletic. And then after one season, he can easily transfer to the first team, depending on how he does. So let me know in the comment sections down below, which player are you most excited to see? Is it the young Argentine Claudio Echeverri or Lucas Bergval? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.